Welcome back, space fans. We've got a lot to cover in this briefing, so tighten your tethers, eyes up, let's go. Rocket Lab notched another win this morning as Electron completed its 77th successful mission, deploying JAXA's RAISE-4 technology demonstrator into a 540-kilometer orbit. Electron may be one of the smallest orbital rockets flying today, but it continues to outperform expectations. A small launcher delivering big league reliability. RAISE-4 carries experimental hardware Japan will use to fast-track future space technologies. In hitting the target orbit, this cleanly is exactly what why Electron has become the go-to ride for missions like this. It's another reminder that precision isn't about size, it's about consistency. And right now, Electron is one of the most consistent rockets in the world. The James Webb Space Telescope has delivered again, this time with the strongest evidence yet of an atmosphere around a rocky planet called TOI 561b. This world orbits so close to its star that its day side heats to more than 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. By every prediction, that should strip any atmosphere away, but Webb may have caught the signage of one surviving. A rocky world wrapped in air where there shouldn't be any. If confirmed, it means atmospheres can persist in places we once wrote off entirely. And that's a powerful reminder. The universe doesn't care about our assumptions. Even the harshest planets can hold secrets worth chasing. NASA's Juno spacecraft has detected something extraordinary at Jupiter. Massive plasma waves. Think of them as charged particle tsunamis. Moving along the boundary of the planet's magnetic field. These waves can span thousands of miles. Imagine waves taller than entire planets rolling along the edge of Jupiter's magnetic field. They form when bursts from the sun slam into Jupiter's magnetosphere, injecting energy and reshaping the giant planet's space environment. It's a reminder that the solar wind isn't a gentle breeze. It's a storm system measured in megawatts, and Juno is flying straight through the surf. 52 years have passed since the last man walked on the moon. The crew of Apollo 17 lifted off from Taurus Littrow Valley on December 14, 1972. 24 astronauts traveled to the moon, with 12 of them walking on it across six successful missions. The era was defined by bold goals. President John F. Kennedy's 1962 speech at Rice University challenged the nation to land a man on the moon before the end of the decade, a promise fulfilled just seven years later with Apollo 11. Today, NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the lunar surface with Orion, SLS, and the planned Gateway Station forming the backbone of the campaign. But schedules have slipped repeatedly. Commercial landers are still proving capability, and the international landscape is shifting quickly. For now, Gene Cernan's and Jack Schmitz are the last human footprints on the moon. The next chapter is overdue.